What's going on, y'all? Um, we're going to talk about Alex Smith right now. I just, first of all, I love my Niners all day, every day. And um, I'm just going to be, must be here and say, I still got faith in Alex Smith. I've always had faith in Alex Smith. You know what I mean? And the thing is, what showed in the Philadelphia game last night, even though we still lost, is that the Niners should have had Alex Smith in a shotgun type of offense a long time ago. Okay? Basically, I'm going to just give you a rundown right now. I mean, and look, I'm going to tell you like this, because everybody... Everybody is everybody been throwing Alex Smith under the bus, and I've been like one of the only people that haven't. So if you're also a person that hasn't been throwing Alex Smith under the bus, well, hey, I'm just another one that I always had faith in Alex Smith because he never really got a chance to prove himself. Now, the thing is though, when they when the Niners put wanted to implement this power running game and kind of circulate the offense around Frank Gore, I didn't I didn't agree with it. They should have been circulating the offense around Alex Smith. Now every now like I said, everyone was been throwing Alex Smith under the bus, but the thing is, like, he had a bunch of coordinators, he's had a handful of coordinators come and leave. We've had Mike Martz, we've had um North Turner, they all split after one year. <clears throat> and the thing is, all I really wanted to say is, like, he should have been in a shotgun-like offense. I mean, we don't have to go, We, I mean, I didn't want Mike Marks. We didn't have to go, like, Mike Marks. But he's always been successful in the shotgun. In college, he was predominantly shotgun. He's a shotgun quarterback, okay? He, he's not all that successful under center, okay? And so his job was on the line, and he was about to get taken out the game because it was like 24 to 10 and basically I'm sure he was calling the plays himself and he was making audibles and everything he was pointing everything he was doing his thing he was being like a mad scientist with the offense and he was doing a good job that's because he's in his comfort zone the shotgun when they brought him into the league they want him to put it they want to put him under center no when well look when you when the Niners had drafted him he was at Utah he was doing all kinds of shotgun stuff even when they drafted him, the analyst was saying, well, he's always in the shotgun. He's a shotgun-type quarterback. And I noticed that. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie right now. When draft day came, I wanted Aaron Rodgers. I mean, if you wanted a quarterback under center, you should have drafted Aaron Rodgers. But you didn't draft Aaron Rodgers. You drafted Alex Smith. Okay? Now, I'm not going to lie. I wanted Aaron Rodgers also. But that's fine. I had, I had no problem with Alex Smith. But shoot, if you're going to draft a quarterback and he's successful and you want him to be successful with your team, why don't you just build this, build around the same offense he just had in college and just NFLize it? That's not a word, but <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. I mean, in the time, the years he had good, he had good years. He had a shotgun like offense with an offensive coordinator who had shotgun formations. There are no shotgun formations in a power running game. North Turner has shotgun. You see Phillip Rivers in shotgun all the time. Mike Mars has shotgun. Okay? And he can be successful in a shotgun type offense. You just have to circ you just have to base the offense around Alex Smith. You paid him all this money. You drafted him. All that stuff. Just circulate because you Frank Gore is cool, but you can't put the offense around him. You have to do it around Alex Smith. Okay? Gore's getting his carry. Gore's getting his carries and everything. Gore's still a good player, but you have to like you have you have Vernon Davis, you have Josh Morgan, you have you have Ted Ginn, and you have Crabtree. You have all these players in your wide receiver core, and you want to do a power running game. That's not going to work. You have to get Alex Smith to throw the ball and spread the ball out. You have all that speed. You have all those receivers. Get him in a shotgun. That's how he makes his reads. That's how that's how he works. Okay, you can call him limited. You can call him whatever you want, but he's a shotgun quarterback. He can make his reads faster. You can make your reads faster in the shotgun anyway. But that's what Alex Smith is comfortable with because he took control of the offense and he went shotgun for the rest of the game. That's what he's used to. That's how he excels. That's how he's successful. That's how he was successful in college. He can get successful in the NFL in the shotgun. Put him in the shotgun. The power running game 
was not going to work anyway. I'm sorry to say because the power running game is like Midwest football. That's Cleveland Browns. That's the Bears. That's the Packers. That You know what I mean? They ran power running and been successful with it. And I'm not doubting the power run game. It's just it's not working for the 49ers. The 49ers, went on their glory days, they had West Coast offense. They had Roger Craig and all and Ricky Waters and all types of running backs we had go out and be receivers and stuff. And we used to throw all over the place. That's the 49ers style right there. We don't really have a power running game. We're not a power running team, rather. I'm not saying that we can't be one, but we've never really been a power running type team. We could become a power running team, but not with Alex Smith as a quarterback. He's not a great quarterback behind center because his forte is the shotgun. Put him in the shotgun. Build the offense around the shotgun. Therefore, Alex Smith can perform. Okay? Everyone's still throwing Alex Smith on the bus. I'm still not throwing him under the bus because I want him to be put in a shotgun offense. You need to put him in a shotgun offense so that he can perform. That's how it works. That's how he works, man. His job was on the line. He's like, screw it. I'm about to do shotgun every play. And that's what he did. And he almost won the game. He should have won the game. He should have won the game. We should have won that game. There's a bunch of games we should have uh, won, as a matter of fact, this season. But we're 0-5 now. Put Alex Smith in the shotgun. For real. Put Alex Smith in the shotgun. That's how he performs. That's how he works. And that's what he's comfortable with. You, I mean, it's, it's hard for a player to really transition when you take him out of his comfort zone. Okay? I mean, despite the fact that he had a bunch of, of offensive coordinators and he got hurt, uh, for a couple seasons, everything and all that BS. That's whatever it is. You have to put you have to put Al Smith in the shotgun so he can perform. He was successful in college with that. Why don't you just put him in the NFL and make his offense just well not just like it was in Utah, but kind of base it off of it so that he knows what to do. So he doesn't really lose his step. Okay, so he can still be comfortable in what he has to do. Because even though and besides he's fast anyway, y'all you can also draft him because of his speed. Even if a defensive line gets through his line, gets through his pass protection, he can still run away. That's how Alex Smith works. Just use that. Just do that. Use the shotgun. That's his forte. That's his thing. Use the shotgun. Get Alex Smith. Keep playing Alex Smith. Let him work in the shotgun and see how this works. Okay? Let Alex Smith be Alex Smith. Okay? I know there's a bunch of pressure on him because he's a quarterback. Of course there is. There's always pressure on the quarterback because we... For as us as 49er fans, we want the next Joe Montana, Steve Young. We want the next guy to come in. We don't want the next Joe Montana. There is no next Joe Montana. There's only one Joe Montana. That's Joe Montana. The same goes for Steve Young. So you let Joe Montana be Montana. You let Steve Young be Steve Young. Let Alex Smith be Alex Smith. That's all it is. So let him do the shotgun. He's not a great quarterback under center. Okay, no disrespect to Alex Smith, but you know he. Try to do the thing under center. He can't. He can do it, but he's not great at it. He's good. He's good. He's probably trying to get the transition back. This is just what I'm seeing. This is just what it looks like to me. He's not. He's an excellent quarterback, but not when he's under center. If you wanted a quarterback to perform under center, you should have drafted Aaron Rodgers, but you didn't. You drafted Alex Smith. He's a shotgun quarterback. Put him in a shotgun formation and let him do his thing. You got all these receivers. So use it. Use the shotgun. Let him heave the ball. Let him do what he has to do. San Francisco 49ers, we man, we all been all about the passing game. Young to Rice, Montana to Rice, Brent Jones, John Taylor. We used to air the ball out all the time. Even to Roger Craig. Even to our running backs. We used to throw it right and left. Alright, we run the ball too. But shoot, we would set we would set that up by throwing the ball all the time. I don't, I don't, we weren't usually a, a throw first type team, but like you know, we will be able to air it out. We have to be able to air it out. So so air it out, shotgun. Let him do his thing. That's all I got to say, man. Put Alex Smith in the shotgun and let him work. I'm out of here.